A serious cyclist won't pedal just any bike. It's got to have wheels made of strong yet lightweight materials, such as carbon fiber or aluminum. Advanced bicycle wheels have tubing and spokes shaped as aerodynamically as possible to lower wind resistance. These elite level racing wheels are made of aluminum. They're designed to generate a smooth ride with optimum responsiveness to the rider's acceleration. The starting material? Long straight tubes of extruded aluminum, pre-shaped with the wheel rim profile. Workers load one extruded tube at a time into a metal bender. The machine coils the tube around and around, forming four connected rims. After measuring to ensure the diameter is exactly what it should be, they mount the coiled tube onto a cutter. With a single downward slice, it separates the four rims. They fuse the cut ends later on. First, the rims need a bath in a tank of acid. The acid removes dust and other contaminants and etches the surface of the metal both of which help ensure full adhesion of the anti-corrosion coating they later apply. Next, a multi-phase heat treatment process. This restructures the aluminum molecules, making the metal harder and stronger. They join the two ends of the rim by riveting on an aluminum connector tab. Then they weld the joint to reinforce it. Using a sharp, vibrating cutting tool, a computer-guided machine smooths the weld line until it's nearly invisible. This makes the rim appear seamless. Now for that anti-corrosion coating. The process is called anodization. In a tank, they plate the aluminum with a protective chemical, using an electrical charge to draw the coating particles onto the rim surface. For this model, the anodized coating is black, however, there are several color choices. Next, a computer-guided machine shaves off a minute amount of anodized metal from nearly a third of the rim surface. This creates a smooth, perfectly flat area for the brake pads to grip. The next computer-guided machine drills holes for the tiny aluminum nipples, which hold the aluminum spokes to the rim. Now it's time to assemble the wheel, a manual task entrusted to specialized bicycle technicians, as it requires a level of craftsmanship no machine can perform. The first technician inserts a spoke into each slot of a carbon fiber and aluminum flange, part of the hub at the center of the wheel. Once every spoke is in its respective spoke seat, as it's called, he sandwiches them with a locking ring. Now for the rim end of the spokes. The next technician places a small steel plug inside a spoke nipple to make it magnetic. Then she puts the nipple into the rim and using a magnet draws it to a spoke hole, then through the hole towards the inside of the wheel. Then she removes the steel plug and inserts the free end of a spoke into the nipple. She repeats the procedure for each spoke hole. This is known as lacing the wheel. The next technician holds each spoke steady while tightening its nipple with a spoke wrench. Tightening the nipple straightens the spoke. The process of perfectly aligning the wheel by straightening every spoke is called truing the wheel. This gauge tells him when the wheel is finally trued. For quality control assurance, this robotic machine inspects each spoke and makes any necessary tensioning adjustments. Depending on the model, a high-end bicycle wheel can have anywhere from 10 to 46 spokes. Different spokes for different folks.